Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning, how are you all? I am fine, thank you and you. This is Pastor Ibeno Tufonate and I'm here this morning to share with you a short exhortation with the title, Walking in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit, shall we pray? Father, we thank you, we give you all the glory. May your name alone be glorified this morning. You are making it possible for us, for us to meet once again. I ask you, God, that the Spirit of God may take out of the control. I ban every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I have prayed. Amen. Please pick up your Bible, notebooks and pens or pencils and write something down for today's discussion. Today is walking in the Spirit. Walking in the spirit. Walking in the spirit. We are going to talk about walking in the spirit. Okay, please. Alright, so let's get ready and start. Alright, so like I said, look on your screen. Walking in the spirit. You've seen a gentleman in a nice boot. Or sneakers walking over the end. Our foundation scripture is Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 25. Okay, please. So, shall we read it? If you have taken your Bible, open your Bible to the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 25. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 25. Let's read. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, or cleanliness, Loneliness, adultery, scary hatred, contention, jealousy, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, hastiness, enviness, murder, drunkenness, frivolous, and like of which I tell you be behind, just as I told you in times past, that these are practice that such things which not inherit, it, or those who practice did not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against that, there is no other law. Let's read verse 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Alright, so today's lecture, we are going to talk about walking in the Spirit. Okay, please look on your screen and let's go on. Walking in the spirit. Now there's a song in Psalm 51, verse they said, Create me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, O Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of our salvation. And read the where I spirit within me. The second song says, Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Look on your screen. Of every situation that has troubled my mind and all my cares and bodies unto you. I roll spirit, 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 spirit. So we are talking about walking in the spirit. Now, introduction from the above scripture that we read, Paul the apostle wrote to the church in Galatia, advising them about their behavior, attitude towards spiritual things. He realized that even though they are worshiping, and serving God in spirit, they are not walking in the spirit because living and walking in the spirit makes you an acceptable person before the Lord. 
The church of Galatia were hypocrites. Once someone says hypocrites, they know the thing, but then they are pretending. Why? Because they serve God with their body, their mouth, their hands and strength, but then they did not walk in the spirit. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Let's, let's read that one too. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This only I want to learn from you. Did you not receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, you are now being made perfect by the flesh. So they were worshipping God, but then they were walking in the flesh. But this morning we are going to learn about the strategies of walking in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, what is the meaning of walking? Walking means to take steps carefully without falling. When say somebody is walking, the person is taking steps to that one. He will not fall. Amen. And then what is the meaning of spirit? The spirit, it is a supernatural being that exists but cannot be seen physically. We can feel it, but we cannot see him physically. That is the spirit. So we have different kinds of spirit. There are two kinds of spirit. Namely, we have the demonic spirit and then we have the spirit of God. What are you going for? I advise you this morning to go for the Spirit of God. Now, what is the meaning of demonic spirit? This spirit torments, harass, and make life uncomfortable for those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and their personal Savior and does not have a relationship with Him. So, if you don't have a relationship with God, there is a tendency for you to be what? Attacked by demonic spirits. Now, the Spirit of God is the one of the trinities who exists before the creations of the heaven and the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, Bible said, And the Spirit of God was moving on the surface of the water, and God out of the Spirit spoke and said, Let there be light. And there was light. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, the Spirit of God is the one of the trinities. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He is the third of the trinity. Praise God. Now, the spirit was available before man was created. Before you and I were created, the spirit of God is already there. That is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit came together to create man. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 20, the Bible says, God said, let us create man in our own image. And so after God, the Father took the clay, I'm sure that God the Son was also supporting and then God the Spirit, the Bible said, and after God has created the man, man was motionless, was not moving, and God bred the breath of life, that the Spirit of God into man. And man became what? A living soul. So every man, or every one here carries the image of God and the Spirit of God from the day we were born. Hallelujah. So working in the Spirit also means living in the divine nature of God. Now you have to live in the divine nature of God. That is the meaning of what work in the spirit. Now, how do we work in the spirit? Number one, abstain from fleshly desires or filthy things. Daniel chapter 1, verse 6, and then Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Bible said in the book of Daniel chapter 1, verse 6, you know, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego were taken to the chief palace and then something was given to them to eat. You no, know, they were put under a tax master to help them, to train them, to, to teach them the customs of the people of Babylon so that they can be able to, you know, align themselves with them. The Bible said they were giving food. The food that was being given was even given to the idols or small, smaller goals. And the Bible said, they said, we are rejecting it. You just give us vegetables and water and test us for 10 days. And the Bible said, after 10 days, they, they saw the difference. So if you want to walk in the spirit, you have to abstain from fleshly desire and filthy things. Number two, periodic pray and involvement in the gathering of the saints. Acts chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible said, when the children of Israel or the disciples gathered at rooftop on the day of Pentecost, the spirit of God like a rushing wind entered the room and filled them up like a flame of fire on top of each one of them. And they spoke according to the entrance of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 
Number three, avoid straps and pursue righteousness. Don't be annoying, don't be worried, don't have us strive in you. Galatians chapter 5, verse 9 to 22. When you begin to do that, the Spirit of God can be scared away. Okay, so working the Spirit means working in harmony with God and with others. Guard your heart and your tongue from biting, bitterness, and conflict. And then that can help you to walk in the Spirit. Number four, kingdom thinking and meditation of the Word of God. Rima, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Read that one with me. See, so when you're always thinking about the kingdom business, thinking about meditating upon the Word of God, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, this book of law shall not depart of your mind, but daily meditating upon it, then that will make your way prosperous. All right. How will you know that you are not working in the Spirit? It's a question. How will you know? Number one, on desire to pray, leading to strange things happening. When you desire, you are not desiring to pray, you are not feeling like praying, it means you are not working in the Spirit. Check it. Point number two, do not hear the voice of God. You don't hear the voice of God anymore. That means what? You are out of the Spirit. Number three, you, you are weak to rise up and wait upon God or do quiet time. You can't read your Bible anymore. You can't pray anymore. You know, the things of the ministry is unconcerned with you. That means what? You are going out of the Spirit. You doubt the Word of God or you are weak in faith. You think the Word of God cannot do anything for you again, then that means what? You are not working the Spirit. Point number five, the Word is made as understood and it is regarded as a foolish thing. First Corinthians, Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18. You see, a lot of people go to church and then whatever is being said, they don't even regard it. They regard it as a foolish thing. Yes, you back come about that, that. These are some of the foolish things people have been saying. And so a carnal man will say these things. But if you are in the spirit, a spiritual man will never say such things. Now six, you enjoy gossip or the downfall of your fellow brethren in the Lord. Yes, when you are out of the spirit, you are not working the spirit, you enjoy the downfall. You know, you don't care about it, you like to gossip around you. When somebody falls down, instead of you have the person to get you are rather talking about the person. You are not working in the spirit. Hallelujah. What are some of the benefits of working in the spirit? Number one, you are dead to the flesh. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. When you work in the spirit, you are dead to the flesh. Things of the flesh does not matter you anymore. You don't even think about the things of the flesh. Number two, you are you easily escape dangers. Some of us we fall into dangers because what the spirit of God is talking to us, but our ears are closed, and so we cannot what? Hear the Spirit of God, and so we fall into the trap of the enemy. Point number three, your listening power is for the attentiveness of the voice of God is also what? No, your listening power is attentive to the voice of the When you walk in the Spirit, your listening power, you hear when God speaks, you hear. When the Spirit of God speaks to you, you hear. So your listening power is very attentive to the voice of God. Number four, your prayer level changes and conversation about whether it is become less. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18. You don't talk about the things of the flesh, you don't talk about the things of the world again. You know, your prayer level changes, your conversation changes. Every few words as it come out from your mouth. Five, you are on fire and eyes focused to the move of God. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 7, and 4. I, the Lord, shall be a wall of fire around you. So you are always on fire. You are praying. Whatever you may find yourself doing, like praying. You feel like doing the work of God, expansion of the ministry. Yes, this is someone who is working in the spirit. Six, your prayer language changes and you begin to speak mysteries. Bible says in the book of Acts 2, verse 4, their language even changed when they encountered the Spirit of God. And Peter, who was a shy person, shy fisherman, was able to speak in tongues and at that spot he spoke and about 3,000 people gave their life to Jesus. What are we doing with the Spirit of God? Let us rise up and begin to walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah. 
7 you are able to discover and recover the plot of the devil Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 when you are walking in the spirit you discover the plot of the enemy and you begin to recover whatever they try to do against your life hallelujah praise God praise God praise God Jesus Christ one of your disciples he is always in the spirit and he discovers the ideas and whatever the Pharisees and the Sadis were trying to do against him but he used wisdom and the spirit to discover and recover everything may you also receive that grace that you walk in the spirit that you can be able to discover the plot of the enemy what has making you to fall what is troubling your mind when you walk in the spirit you have revelation about that thank you so much i just want us to pray this prayer oh lord forgive all my sins my household the unknown and unknown sins hallelujah psalm 51 verse let me pray in the name of jesus Father, as we walk in our spirit of God, we pray that you may wash us and transform all righteousness. The household sins of God, or known and unknown sins, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every iniquity that I have planned in my heart to exhibit against someone closer and offender, I release them in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever I've done against anybody, may you forgive my sins, O oh God, and I'm ready to leave it, O oh God, to let it go in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every generational sins that I came to inherit, please forgive me in Jesus' name. Yes, there are a lot of generational things that we came to inherit, generational sins and generational curses. You are telling Lord to forgive your next generation that you will not find yourself in it. If you have inherited it, the Lord shall forgive you in the name of Jesus. Every fresh desire, gossip, backbiting, hatred, lies, greed, jealousy, envy, murder, fornication, adultery, burn out in the name of Jesus. Can we pray this short prayer? Fill me up, Lord, with your spirit, with your spirit, and anoint me with a fresh fire of the Holy Spirit. This should be your prayer topic every day. Fill me up, Lord, with your supernatural spirit. The next place, say, help me to stand firm in the test of time. Every test of time that you find yourself, you are telling God to help you to stand in the test of time. In this coronavirus, where things have become tough, money issue has become very difficult, we are telling God that, oh God, make a way where there seems to be no way in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. So he helped me to be sensitive to the spirits and dangers ahead of me. He cover, become every accident ahead of me, every danger, every plot of the enemy. Father, help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Kabasuteri be andabasaikata. Empower me to increase my level of prayer. If I am weak in prayer, Lord, I pray that you may help me to stand firm to be increased in prayer life in the name of Jesus. I discover and recover all hidden agendas of the devil against me. This one I discover in the name as Ezekiel discovered ago. Hezekiah discovered ago. Ah, Jabez also discovered. I pray in the name of Jesus who come by and I skip every spiritual snare against me with the Spirit of God. Every snare ahead of me, let the Spirit of God carry me as he carried Ezekiel to the valley of bones in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes in the Spirit to see on seeable Father, open my eyes. He come and sweet the book to see what is ahead of me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reject and reverse every spoken utterance concerning me with the Spirit of God. I reject and I oppose every demonic utterance concerning my family, my children, my business, my work, my education, my traveling, my ministry in the mighty name of Lord. I know you are preparing me for a greater work to God. Every spoken King word concerning my ministry, I decree by the blood of Jesus. You pray in the spirit. Those who can speak in tongues, you have to look for a pastor. Pray to your pastor. Go to your pastor and let the pastor help you to continue to help you to be on fire in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you so much for your participation this morning in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help you that as we are talking about walking in the Spirit, you understand it and walk in the Spirit. It is very good and very essential to walk in the Spirit. When you walk in the Spirit, no danger can come before you. God bless you for 
listening this morning and i know you are going to follow me on my youtube channel if it is a natty at the search engine my picture will drop and then you select the picture all my videos will come you can also follow me in facebook on if it is a natty the search engine my face will appear and then my contact numbers are 055-407-9086 or 0543-410-350 God bless you. Please try to subscribe to my YouTube page or like my page. And God will bless you so much. I would like to meet you again in my next video. Interaction with you and your life will never be the same. When I say a piso, say my future is bright. A piso, my future is bright. A piso, my future is bright. A piso, my future is bright. God bless you and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.